well, I'm perverse by nature and uh, I wanted to make a piece of work that looked as though it might have been done digitally. I was aware that you could do digital productions and montage to great effect and it was actually great satisfaction to do something that was a straight shot all in one with no digital manipulation. And I'd seen work by a painter called Cotin, who happened to be a monk in the 13th, 15th century, not sure which. Um, and he had hung things on strings and they were quite modest, ordinary things like cabbages and fish, etc. But they were all beautifully composed. And it was my first advent into just building something in front of the camera, literally building. And it was a sort of playing, really. I've got some old pitch frames and um, I put brackets on them and I sort of balanced them in a wobbly sort of way on a table. So it was all tabletop stuff. I had lots of bamboo canes balancing on tripods lots of masking tape, lots of things wibbly wobbling that were balanced all around the edge. Um, and then I'd go off around the shops, really, and look for these wacky handbags. The other thing that happens, of course, is that you, you just get into a role, and I got into a role with this work. You, your imagination starts to take over to such a point that you, you really, you are being led by something but it's great and, and that is a good feeling and it did get, it got like that and these fish ones particularly. Um, I'd got the cat stalking outside because he could smell the fish and they were, once they were up there, they would be up for, you know, a couple of days. I wouldn't actually chuck the fish out until I was sure I'd had enough of them. I put them back in the freezer and I recycled them. So these fish kept getting reused Obviously, I had to thaw them out before I photographed them. I worked with these three fish quite a lot, and I became very fond of them. And I'm not sure if it would probably be the cat ate them at the end. I can't remember. 